people get comfortable. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves, and they end up becoming very cynical about life, and they throw in the towel on themselves, and on their families, and on their dreams. And the other thing is that most people don't feel worthy. What I'm doing now, I could have been doing years ago. But because I did not have a college education, because I didn't believe in myself, because I allowed other people's opinion of me to control my destiny, I didn't act on my ideas. So I applaud you for your dreaming. I can tell you that it's possible. Every day I wake up asking, can I get it all? Big black. Man, say yo. Man, say, ha, yo. Bro, go. You hear me good? Yeah, I'm here good. All right, cool. I'm trying not to sound like Teddy Riley. <laughs> Where y'all at on the road? This is South Kaki Laki. South Kaki Laki, huh? So How much hours you got left? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. A whole lot, huh? A whole lot. It's like nine, nine hours and change. Hours. A lot of change. Nine hours and a lot of change. How's everything? Actually, everything's good. Everything's good. Uh, it, was a good it was a good service. So everyone's chilling. Great you know, service. That's a great service. Good. That's dope. That's dope. I know that was hard right there, too. Bro. She was an OG. Huh? I said she so, was an OG. She sure was. She was the sweetest woman in the world. Thank you. That's a fact. Though. Send my condolences to the, to the Carter family, though. Sure yeah, will. We got to properly introduce who we are, you know what I mean? So, I'm Mike, a.k.a. Uber, Uber Mike 78. Welcome to the cave, the man cave. That's <laughs> and I'm pulling up, as you can see, I'm pulling up right now. <laughs> I'm pulling up to the man cave. Pulling up to the man cave. You got to tell him your name. And I'm Joseph, a.k.a. Today since JoJo. Bam, bam, bam. And if you put that all together, we definitely snake fledges out here, Cave. And thank you for pulling up to the man cave today. You know, we want to we wanna make sure our men out here want to make health cool again. I mean, so we made this platform so that we can make health cool again. That we got to stop being fearful of our health and our conditions out here. So Joseph found some information from uh, Jed Diamond. He has some information about you know, men not taking care of their health. So I, I got a, I got a point here where uh, men are afraid of giving up control, right? So I'm gonna read through the brief little explanation of why he said that. So it says, no one likes to feel that they are out of control, but men have a particular difficult time. Women learn early on that there are things about their bodies that are beyond their control. They have a monthly period, whether they like it or not. They are clear, physical and emotional changes that just happen. We also have uh, hormonal cycles and emotional changes throughout the month, even through, even though we don't have a menstrual cycle, but we deny such changes. We do everything we can to control events in our lives and even try to control our body function. Attempting to control parts of ourselves that are beyond control, we build up fear. Acknowledging an illness, even going to a doctor, forces us to let our guard down to become vulnerable to other human beings. Many of us would rather die than let ourselves be vulnerable. Uh, so what often kills us is our inability to give up control and allow others to help us. Deep stuff right there. What do you think about that? So it's a, a lot going on in there. That's a lot. That's a lot to unpack. It's a lot to unpack. 
So, so, so basically, so basically, you know, that's like we, we kind of touched on this the last time how females go through their menstrual cycles, and uh, <laughs> it was funny because it, it I started laughing when I was reading this because you know how back in the day we used to clown dudes that used to get an attitude. And we said, clown them like, yo, you said, like, yo, you on your period right now? Yo, you on your period? <laughs> I bust out laughing when I started reading this. <laughs> it's a fact, though, you know, certain, certain brothers get emotional. They get emotional. It's a, it's a, it's a right to show emotion as a brother. It's a right. <laughs> you just didn't know that then. You just didn't know that then. Exactly, right? Because we, we, we had to be strong. We had to be strong. You know? We did touch on that last week. You know, um, most men don't want to be seen as weak or mm -hmm. inferior, mm -hmm. so therefore they put on a front. And it's, it's twofold. One, they don't want to be seen that way. Right. And two, we're also we're a product of our environment. Yeah. So growing up, if you never experienced anything like that or you never went through something where you had to be vulnerable, that you just naturally have this built up like I'm supposed to be strong all the time. Like yeah. you said, we would make fun of we would make fun of dudes and say, "Oh, you on your menstrual, you on your period." But the truth is, the greatest strength come from being able to show your vulnerability. Right. But it comes from because I can't I can't help the next man or next person along and stop them from making my same mistakes if I wasn't first vulnerable. Right. You know, it takes it takes a humble place and it, it takes a lot of strength to be vulnerable and allow someone else in on your own personal life experiences and where you've been, you know, so that they don't have to go through that same thing. Right. You know, Jerry and I on this long ride was just having a conversation and he said something earlier about each one teach one. Thanks. You know, and passing on your knowledge and passing on your skills, you right. know, but that knowledge and skill came from our personal life experiences. Right. You know, depending on the relationship we may have with others, you know, like a nephew or son, niece or something like that, daughter, it's easy for us to do that because that's our family. So, you know, they know us. Right. However, when it's someone outside of that nucleus, it, it makes it a little bit difficult. You don't really know how that person's going to receive you. So, you know, you're kind of apprehensive on what information you reveal about yourself or what information you know, you let them in on because you don't know how they're going to take it or use it. You right. know, so that's why you're you're vulnerable when you're opening up. And that's why I say it takes a lot of strength because you know what? I need to let you know so you don't make this mistake. Right. You know, and I also have to bring myself to, you know what? It's a right. It's a right. If you have this information, mm -hmm. because if not, you may go into the same thing and I could have helped you out. And then that falls back on me because I didn't do my part. Right. Yeah, cause that's tough so, too. Because that's tough because sometimes it, it, it's hard for men alone just to be. You probably have a lot of. I'm gonna I'm gonna come from where I, I know that what I was dealing with that I had trust issues. You know that goes with men and women. I had trust issues, so it's like if I don't trust you, I'm not gonna tell you my feelings. You know what I'm saying? Right. You just gonna know this one side, and I'm gonna just keep it like that with you. But you know what I'm saying? Sometimes where. We, we make that mistake because if we don't give up that vulnerable side and you never know what that person experienced that may, can, that may help you with that issue that you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? They could probably give you some information or guide or guidance to help you with that personal information that you may have to give up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got to get more uh, 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 into like they say, into our emotions, and, and just get out of just get out of our head situation. Like we just can't. Oh, I'm not gonna tell nobody nothing. I'm just keep it to myself. And you're really dying inside because you're keeping it all to yourself. Right. And you don't want so, that. Right, because that that can eat, get eat you away from the inside. Yeah. And and that that as well that that internal stressing could also make you sick. Hell yeah. That's a fact, too. You know, a lot of people, they say uh, stress is the silent killer. Yeah. I think that's actually the number two reason that most people die is from stress. Yeah, stress can lead to cancer. Right. 
it, it leads to all different types of body all different types of issues yeah it breaks down your body somehow because same thing like we said um your body has uh homeostasis so it brings you to a level where it heals itself right stress is the counter of that because when while you're stressing your, your mind is never at rest mm -hmm. it's constantly going you're constantly stressing and your body never relaxes to that place and internally you're internalizing all those different things and then all of your hormones and whatever is going out of whack all because that, of the simple as stress yeah all that like just like uh the squad right there said low vibrations man that's why that's why you got to stay on a high vibration you know what i mean because our body's energy first of all you know what i mean so if your body if your if, if your body connect with a low energy, you're constantly gonna stay at that low energy. So you gotta really uh, keep your mind focused on something that you enjoy or just a higher energy, you know, so that you won't have to be thinking about those whatever situations you're going through. You know, you just gotta like really pursue through it. You know what I mean? Because if you don't, all you're gonna do is just kill yourself slowly. You don't know why. You don't know how how this happened the doctor won't even exp can't even explain how those sicknesses happen when you're supposed to be healthy but you don't tell them that you were stressing about this certain situation that was going on in your life yeah um a lot of times you know depending on the doctor you go to i can't speak for every doctor but right. i know some doctors will even ask you that like you know mm -hmm. if you're dealing with something like high blood pressure mm -hmm. um they'll ask you what is your stress level because there's a direct correlation to that. Mm -hmm. You know, some may not, so I can't, I can't speak for everyone. Right. But there are instances where they ask you that question because they know that these things can throw your body out of whack. Right. Right. So th th there's another part right here how it says that how we, men try to control, control events of our lives and our body functions. So, I mean, men in general, you know, I'm I'm king of the castle, I'm king of this, I'm king of that, mm -hmm. you know, I'm king of the south, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, we already we already had that mindset that I'm supposed to control things. Yeah. You know, we we naturally have that alpha thing. Not everyone, but most of us have that natural alpha thing mm -hmm. where I'm supposed to pro control the situation. Right. You know, what I've learned in life is there's the things in life that you can control, so you control right. them. I was going to say and that. Then there's, mm -hmm. things, there's things in life that you cannot, so you don't. Right. The problem is a lot of us get to those places in life where those are the things that we cannot control. Right. And instead of allowing it to just be and moving on and focusing on the things that we can control, mm -hmm. we fight and we struggle with those things that are out of our hands. Mm -hmm. Now, there's, there's plenty of different ways that are healthy for you to handle those situations, but because we're so used to handling everything else, mm -hmm. we don't go about it always necessarily in mm -hmm. the proper way. Right, and that's the main thing. We gotta know. We gotta know what we can control and what we can't. You know what I mean? And, and there's a right. lot of stuff that I can't control that, these raindrops <laughs> right now. But they're like cat and dog. And I gotta <laughs> drop those anyway. So there's really real cats and dogs just hitting the window like that, huh? Right. It is. <laughs> One is as big as my pinky toe. And it just came <laughs> back. It's big. You know, but, but one, one, one of those things that we, that, that we should be able to control is our emotions, you know what I'm saying, how we react towards stuff. You know what I mean? Because some people just react too quickly at certain times when different things come up. You know what I mean? And uh, right. some some people just don't know how to control that. They just, I know I was one. So you know, it was hard for me to admit that long time ago but i know the way i used to react to stuff is, is different compared to how i react to it now because i got babies you know what i'm saying i got, got a wife Baby <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean and i just want to also thank my wife too because of the fact that she 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 helped me learn to like really uh control my anger and like really like learn to verbalize the way I used to react, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because my, my first reaction was to hit somebody or 
hit the wall or something when I got angry instead of just talking it out. You know what I'm saying? So, and I could go in the opposite direction, where because you know, we you you relayed that information to me at a young age because of our relationship. I was like, I need to have in a negative way. I would internalize. So where everyone think everything's okay, I'm spawning up sugar on the inside is festering because I had that much mm-hmm. control and I had to I had to learn that there's positive ways for me to redirect that energy instead of just internalize like you know what it's not working. Or, you know what? I'm not gonna say nothing. Or you know what, you know, however I would maneuver around it, you know, because I, I had control over it. You know, so you where where as you were like, I'ma just whatever, I'ma pop, I'ma like now. Nah. I'm gonna be mm-hmm. ice with mine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both yeah. of those, both of those coming from opposite spectrums, but it still wasn't a healthy way of handling the situation. That's a fact. With the Chino, Chino mob, what up, Sheldon? Dan? You say disagree, fellas, making creatively, and if you can't, you're a, a what? A better a beta male, and only God can help you, not women. Oh yeah, it's a fact. God, God, God is always the, the number one. You know what I mean? Because only God could change anybody. But you gotta get your mind right first. You know what I mean? If your if your mind ain't lined up with God, you definitely gonna have issues. But that's a fact, though. You know, God is here to help us out. You know what I mean? But um, what the other part? Or trying to control our bodies, our body functions. We kind of hit on that before too last week. But um. It's, it's a fact though, because like like we spoke about, you know, like feeling J- those. J baby just said something that's real good. That that women are created to help men. Yep. You gotta, yeah, I found that help me. Okay. Not to help me. Right. Break, you break down to help me. You gotta help me. I love I love talking about this. I know. I know so, that's uh, your favorite thing. Break it down. Break it's my down. favorite thing. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> break it down. J baby, I agree with you so much. So <laughs> now understand, women are created to be a man's help meet which means that all the tools that are built inside of her are especially for that man that she's supposed to be with because not every woman is your help meet now right but when you find your help meet you gonna know mm-hmm. because god god has equipped everything within her mm-hmm. at the same time you must be ready to utilize the tools that's within her because if you don't have a job for her you gonna have some problems. Yep. But if you have a plan, and you have drive, and you meet the right woman, that's your help me. And please understand, you know, because some of us men have a, uh, we're very chauvinistic, especially uh-huh. being alpha males. Exactly. So you know, we feel that like a woman can be beneath us, but she's not above us. She's not beneath us. She's on our side. She's supposed to meet everything. Right. You know, the, I think the best way I like to just talk about it is like, you know, you ever see. When these uh, men, they're uh, filling in the, the cracks mm-hmm. in the concrete and they're making a new pavement. And you know how that new pavement looks like? Perfect. Mm-hmm. See, what happens is it met us, help me. And all those cracks where we messed up at, that help me came. And we're supposed to help one another. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's a help meet. Mm-hmm. So I get what Sheldon was saying, but yo, same thing with Mike goes back. When you have the right woman in your life, mm-hmm. that's your help meet. Not your help mate, because yep. anyone could be a mate. Anyone could be a partner. But mm-hmm. not everyone could be your help mate and mm-hmm. meet exactly the needs that you personally need, because we all need something different. Yeah. Because cause, uh, like I said, I, I got to give it up to my wife, because the fact that I know that she's my help me because of the fact that she helped me change. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that we're together, we pray together, we do everything together, you know what I'm saying? She helped me out a lot to really understand a whole lot that I was going through, you know, because like like we said, like we gotta we gotta open up and be vulnerable. It's Chino. It's Chino fellas. It's Chino. <laughs> Chino monster. It's Chino. <laughs> so um you know like like she really helped me verbalize more because I was never taught to uh uh verbalize as much as I do now. You know, or communicate. You know what I'm saying? Because I ha I have bad communication skills. Very bad. You know what I'm saying? I, my hands used to do a lot of uh, uh, communication. Because you always jumping somebody? <laughs> that ain't my fault. That ain't my fault. I Stop. told people. 
jumping people. I tell the people, leave my hands alone. I, I try to warn them. I tell them, leave them alone. Leave them. Stop jumping Leave people. them. And then they keep pushing buttons, and they, my hands just, it just happened. It's just like, Stop. oh, Stop man, jumping. look at them. Look at them. Stop man. jumping people. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, but going back to that, uh, you know, trying to control our body function, you know, we, we, we think we become our own doctors. And when our body is going through something, we think like, oh, uh, that might be gas. Uh, that might be it's something I gas. ate. It's always <laughs> gas. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, no, black people is always gas. Right, right, right. Uh, I just probably need to drink some more water. You know what I mean? I'm about to go get this ginger ale. <laughs> right? And, and you don't know what's festering inside of you. You know what I'm saying? You just don't know. It could be so many things. You just don't know what it is. And we become our own doctor. And, like, if, if that ginger ale helps to ease whatever's going on, you know what I mean? We're like, I'm good. So what do you think going to use the next time it happens? You feel that same pain. I'm going to buy some more ginger ale. <laughs> Get some stock in ginger ale. Exactly. <laughs> I need to get some stock in ginger ale. <laughs> right? Ginger ale really? and saltines will take you a long way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you you basically just you're cooking up something right in there. Some ginger ale and some uh, 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 some crackers. You're making a whole cook right there inside. <laughs> right? And if, and, and if it's really acting up, I'm gonna take me some out of salsa. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be it'd be the worst. It'd be the worst. What else we got here? Yeah. We just talk, we just talked about acknowledging acknowledging the illness. So then yeah. that forces you know us what? to go to the doctor, and now we got to put our guard down. You know that's hard yeah. for a lot of men, right there. That is <laughs> because that's you special. first of all first of all you take the first step and go to the doctor, right? And when you get in there, and the doctor says, what's going on? You like nothing. You, you know what? <laughs> what it is is we we have the same mindset as when we go to that to that crooked car um that crooked mechanic. You know, every time you go to the crooked mechanic, <laughs> something always wrong with your car. Like it was straight, bro. I came in here for the inspection. There's something wrong with your car. Yeah, mm -hmm. I ran over a I ran over a nail. I just need you, to, you know, fix my tire. Well, you know, something wrong with your car. Like it's always something when you go to the crooked mechanic. Right. And right. we go, we have that same mindset when we go to the doctor. Well, if I go to the doctor, the doctor go find something wrong with me. That's because there's something wrong with you. <laughs> That's yeah. why you go there. You don't feel good. There is something wrong with you. What you mean? That's exactly why. No, the doctor. The doctor's just letting you know what is wrong. Exactly. And and, and you, you wanna you wanna sit there and give him a whole attitude. The doctor be like, I'm gonna get this dude out of here because he don't want he don't want no help. <laughs> you so you basically just went just to, just because your wife probably kicked your butt and tell her, yo, you need to go, you need to go, you need to go, and then you finally go and then you be like nothing, 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 and you probably painting inside, got issues going on inside, and and you, and you don't want to admit to it. We gotta get better. We gotta change here, man. Now, man, gotta, we gotta get better. better. We gotta do better. We gotta get better. Gotta do better. Like like, like we said earlier. Like my man Jerry said earlier, you know what I mean? Each one teach one. So if we don't teach, especially if we don't teach each other, we definitely ain't teaching our young ones. You know what I mean? Absolutely. What else you got here? All right. What else I got? Oh, there's a big one. Females help reinforce our tough guy image. That's an interesting one. Because I know for a fact when I was in the streets, you know, I my line was good girls like bad boys. I saw it's fine good girls. Jazz that were condoned to my bad boy my bad boy issues. <laughs> oh, see, all that all that toxic, <laughs> toxic. Cause a lot of 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 girls out there, they like bad boys. So just so I can just so, so I can continue to be class. I can continue to be on the street. I'm gonna find me someone that will condone me continue to be in the street. <laughs> that be? Cause they say good guys finish last. That's what they say. <laughs> I don't even know. 
I don't even know who they is. <laughs> First of all, who is you? <laughs> they always saying something. They always mm -hmm. saying something. And, the, and, the, and now, it, it, and it, it got worse now because now we have all these young girls out here just. I'm a savage. <laughs> right? Exactly. So that be you playing the whole part. You know you you know you're booing the street. He can, he can get either get bodied or get locked up. And then as soon as he get locked up, just like just like I was watching this other video, this dude was like, they're gonna be they're gonna, they're gonna start writing you for a month straight. And then a few months later it's gonna be once a week. <laughs> a few more months. They go it's gonna be once a month and then they're gonna disappear after that. <laughs> but I mean a lot of them that that's also a cultural thing because yeah, it's people that have parties for stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my man is doing this. Oh, my man is doing that. Whatever, whatever. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's a sorry thing. It's a sorry thing that that is glorified. Yeah, you know, we have to get to a place where we change the culture. Mm -hmm. That stuff like that isn't glorified. As you know, there's a better way. You know, mm -hmm. there's other options for us to escape this circle that everyone keeps going through yeah we don't got we don't got to do the same things mm -hmm. you know there's better options for us it, it becomes a culture everybody thinks exactly. it, 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 it's a culture where we, we got to live up to our brothers or uncles or big cousins you know what i'm saying there's like you know watching them come up and grow up be like i'm gonna be bigger and better you know right. what i mean i see them i see them doing it like this i'm gonna do the same thing and worse uh huh. Not exactly. Better, exactly. It's gonna be worse. It's gonna be worse. worse. It's gonna be worse. <laughs> and then uh -huh. they encourage you, like, yes, yeah, son. Exactly. How you doing? And, and big your head up this big, be mad big. Like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out there. And eat, I'm gonna go out there and go do work, worse stuff, worse. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, okay. Oh, check this one out. Uh, it says when, when. Men compete for women. Health is our last concern. Oh, very much so. Because you know what those men is after. Yep. No after. So uh, once that's on your mind, it don't matter what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Get it. So, some men are walk for it. Some men are riding <laughs> their bicycle. Halfway yep. across for it. It don't matter the weather. I'm pretty sure dudes was walking to other places in quarantine right. for it. Mm -hmm. And they wasn't thinking about their health. Mm -hmm. Wasn't thinking about their. I mean, so when it comes to uh, competing, we have that 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 animal instinct because animals do it. Yeah, yeah. That, that, mm -hmm. that joint kick it real quick. We yeah. just we just we just have more intelligence mm -hmm. and we use it the wrong way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, and it's crazy too. It gets deeper because check the fact out like. Uh, 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 especially like you said, what we chasing after, right? We chasing after the woman, you know what I mean? And then we get it. So now, so now the now the mother's pregnant, right? Let's get a little deep, right? Where she has the baby. So now, say if the baby comes out deformed or mentally ill, what happens? The, either either the man gonna stay or he gonna leave. You know what I mean? So. Some, sometimes he can stay and mentally leave. That too, you know what I mean? Because he, he, what what happens is like I think both both uh, 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 men and women should go get checked out to make sure that you guys are right physically to make sure that you can make some healthy babies. You know what I'm saying? But there's a lot of things. You know, if if you know if two people carry the sickle cell trait. Mm. They tell you that it's a high risk that your child may have sickle cell, and that's that's hard, you know. And people, it's scary when you go there and they give you this type of information, mm -hmm. you know. And it's not really to scare you; it's to give you the facts. It's to give you this is what you're working with. I'm not telling you to not do it. Mm -hmm. However, if you do it, these are the risks that you are facing. Yeah, you know. But if you never go get checked, mm -hmm. you don't even know. You, you don't, don't even know. know if you have that trait, if you're a carrier mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or anything like that, mm -hmm. you know? And because stuff like this is not even taught in our culture, we don't even think 
to go get that stuff checked until we're even there in that situation. Right. Yeah. You know, but what if I knew be... that well before? Right. I was just gonna I, say if that. I knew, if I knew this inf- information well before, that I even thought about having a child. You know, and sometimes, you know, people get in a situation where they're not thinking about that about how, and the child appears. But if you know this going in, like, yo, this is information that could be brought to the table. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because like, if, if you know from the jump, <laughs> it, she don't act it up. So. <laughs> says, a butch for that? Yeah. <laughs> what butch tea is that? Yo, <laughs> you don't need that butch tea, so it's not no, don't cook dough just crazy. Like your boy crazy, son. <laughs> you see your ex while I'm laughing. <laughs> that boy need licks, son. <laughs> but, like, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, if we got that checked out before, you know, we decided to have a baby, you know what I'm saying, that that will give us a heads up of, you know, um, to get our health straight before we do anything. But, you know, right, right. It, it, it's kind of both men and women's fault because we both allow it allowed it to happen you know what i'm saying so it's not just one person but it's really on both ends instead of like if you know this is what we're going to decide what we're going to do you know what i mean we got to go get checked out together to make sure that we're compatible or something you know that our chemicals work together <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> right. and that's, that's a that's a, that's a that plays a big part in everything you know what i mean so we just gotta, we gotta get our life straight, man. You know what I'm saying? Men, we gotta get our life straight. We gotta take care of these bodies, man. These bodies ain't gonna be here forever, man. And the, right. old, the older you get, the August get old too, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, since we hit on that subject right there, you know what I mean? We're gonna talk about detoxing, detoxing the body. So, I think I talked about it the last time, but like, we talked we about touch, we was gonna talk about details. We was gonna talk about right. So yeah, so like one of the, one of the major things that blew my mind is about parasites, like parasites in our body. If we don't before detox, we there, before we get there, what is detoxing? Detoxing. So basically, detoxing is 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 a form of cleaning out your colon from all different toxins. Just a um, well, all, all your your major organs, <laughs> your major organs. You know what I'm saying? That 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 helps you your digestive system, all that good stuff. Right. Detoxification is 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 a big plus, and that we that's another thing we're not taught. We used to use our parents used to teach us about this stuff. They they never really we didn't know what it was. they ne- right they never really got into why we had to do it. They just hit us, hit us with that medicine, like, pow, huh, take this. Hey. Why? Why? Right? Don't ask no question. Bam, hold this. Mm. Put a so, big spoon I, or something. I and... was, first of all, I was ready to take a beating and not do that because it tastes disgusting. Matter of fact, I'll still take a beating and not drink it because it tastes disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but they never, like you said, they never explained to us. Yeah. Why? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, my, my mom had a schedule. Like She got like six of us, mm-hmm. so we all can't be detoxifying at the same time. <laughs> so, right, you about to catch this once a month, and you know when that week come around, you about to catch exactly, you about to have that nasty cod liver oil. Liver oil. <laughs> all right? You about to get this a trauma, or you about to get this centipod leaves stuck by your bush. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't want none of the bushes, because it's stank, and it uh-huh. tastes nasty. <laughs> Beat me first. Beat me first. But all right, it's beat me. But well, um, his fa- his well, wait, wait. Chino Mom's father, he used to drink it straight out the bottle, not even like a spoon. He been half of that joint. That's perfect. Nauseous. Yeah. Hey. He drink it like this. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. That's nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> that's, that's nasty. <laughs> Straight lubricating his whole this joint. This taste, taste buds need deliverance. Need deliverance. <laughs> Go ahead. Should have bought, bought a Honda. Should have bought a Honda. Should have bought a Honda. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we continue what so, you're saying. Yeah. So, 
she had us on a schedule. She never explained to us that we were, they called it a clean out. So, uh -huh. you, you know, and, but they never sat down and explained, this is the reason why I do it. Right. You know, it wasn't until I got old, was like, oh, that's what she was doing. Mm -hmm. She was giving everyone a detox. Mm -hmm. You know, I started learning more about my health, uh, especially mm -hmm. with the, the different issues I had, I had to learn about. Mm -hmm. So I started learning more about like, oh, okay, I get it, I understand, you know. But back then we were we were very healthy kids, but it was because of things like that that she did, you know. And you know that cult they didn't really like you said we were seen and not heard, so no one asked the question. You just knew you had to do it. Half the time you didn't want to do it, but you knew you had to do it. But as adults, you you, you could look back and appreciate what they were doing, even mm -hmm. though we didn't know or understand what it was. Mm -hmm. So, not going with your your, your parasites, that, that right? Because that's exactly what it was cleaning out. Exactly. So, so parasites, parasites is a big deal in 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 the human body itself, because so many, even if you're a vegan, you gotta watch out for parasites. So, mm -hmm. um, parasites come in all different shapes and form, and they come in. Meats. If you're a heavy meat eater, you gotta watch out for the types of meat you eat. Um, even vegetables, fruits, they're all in it. So you know, sometimes we gotta clean our fruits right before we even eat it. You know what I mean? There's different ways to clean like the fruit and vegetables. Sometimes it's that waxy film on top of it. Yep. To yep. make it stay fresh and look a certain way. Yep. You know, yep. there's different types of pesticides. Yep. That they're spraying on it to mm -hmm. the way. But then we eat those those pesticides if you don't clean it correctly. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why like a lot of people have questions as like like real heavy meat eaters or just people don't that don't like to take care of their body will be like, well, how that person was a vegetarian and they was working out eating clean and they still died. You know what I mean? Part of that could be from parasites too. You know, because parasites get in your body and and it start eating you inside out. You know what I'm saying? And um, I learned that parasites could, could live in your body 50 plus years undetected. Undetected. And on top of that, that especially if you don't you if you don't go to the bathroom often, especially if every time you eat, you should be going to the bathroom. So if right. you don't go to the bathroom that often, if you go to the bathroom three or four times a week, some people go twice a week. Some people go once a week. Some people go twice or three once times a week. month. You it know what I'm saying? Horrible. Which is horrible. You're, so all, you're, all you're those, back. all that feces is backing up in your in your in your colon and your organs and stuff. So this is how we get a lot of uh, acne, bad breath, stinking arms, you know, body odor. You know what I mean? Because all that feces is didn't go out, go so somewhere. now, now it has to go somewhere, so it, it it exits out all different parts of your body, and um, even I learned that uh 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 uh, uh what do you call it? Parasites feces has feces inside of you, so it's like seventy like the, to eighty percent. When they eat, when they eat, they defecate right, right there, right there. So when they defecate right there, they piling on all your stuff that didn't let go. So imagine, imagine 70 to 80 percent of them is feces from from the from the parasites and the other the other piece, the other 30 is, is you. You know what I mean? So imagine that all that's being backed up in your system. You know what I mean? And then this is how people get sicknesses easier because all those feces that's stuck inside of you. You know what I mean? And um there's something else i learned the fact that when you you ever felt like a bug is crawling on you but when you look at your arm you don't feel nothing, nothing. you know what it nothing, is but, hey it's a, looking like it's a, looking like you like exactly like, what is this what is this smoking like huh? smoking what right so you feel that certain thing on your skin right and you don't see nothing but you feel something crawling on you you don't see it you be like, oh, no, it's she no bug or something. She don't said eat a, eat some curry and drink a glass of milk. Clarity. <laughs> <laughs> you nobody want no coagulated pus 
<laughs> and um, so what that is, it's the parasite moving in your body. That's nasty. That's nasty. God, I remember I remember I had tapeworm when I was younger, and my mom gave me the tapeworm medicine, and mad worms came out. Hi, Fred. Nauseous. You looked in the toilet, hey. you could see that. And I was like, oh, I got dewormed. Nah, man. You got dewormed. Got de-wormed. You got dewormed like diesel. You got dewormed <laughs> like diesel. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? So. You like, gotta have that dewormer, son. You gotta get that dewormer. Just got his last dewormer on Thursday. Right. He just had his last He did? Well, I just had mine today. So, like I said, yo, y'all gotta be careful. These parasites, these parasites also. These parasites. These parasites. These parasites, these parasites also uh, uh, can control your mind. And you know how they do that? Cravings. Those cravings that you get, those sugar cravings. Cause they, all they want is bad food. They want sugar cravings, anything that's bad for your health. They want it, right? Because this is how they they grow, right? So every day you at work and you say at twelve o'clock I need that Snicker bar, and I gotta get it and I gotta get it now. And that's consistently even when you're not at work. You go home, it's that same time it goes off, and then you start to go to the store and get Snickers bar, and then you get to the point where I don't want to go to the store no more. So what you do? Now you buy it in bulk. Now you got boxes of Snicker bars in the house because you gotta, you gotta get that craving. You know what I mean? I Satisfy that craving. That too. That too. <laughs> you gotta buy a whole box of Smith box to get that <laughs> craving. You know what I mean? It come to so, big blue. Come, to come big in the blue. big blue. So what happens is that all you're doing is feeding that parasite. It doesn't, it doesn't fool you up or nothing. It doesn't. It doesn't really take care of that uh, uh, craving or nothing because you later on you make it that same craving again because either either that 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 parasite's getting bigger or it already gotten bigger and it needs to eat more and you start to crave more you know what I mean so all you're doing is feeding that parasite but as soon as right. you start to eat a little better and uh, detox they be like wait a minute I need to go and we got some special stuff that to get that joint out. So I'm gonna go get it right here. So we got these teas right here. We got these detox teas right here. We got the lemon. And oh this one. And we got the raspberry. Raspberry. I need yeah, the raspberry because I got the I got the lemon and the regular one in the car right now. I need to try the raspberry. These right here, these right here is magical. And and and, and it's a soft detox. Fellas and women's on here. It's a soft detox, so you don't you don't have to be the old school way and take those old school stuff and that you can't leave the house for three days. Right. It's extremely harsh on the stomach. It's <laughs> exactly extremely. Right. <laughs> that, that's it's the major thing about it. Hard. That's the main. Because then, when it's too extreme, is the fact that uh, they, uh tear up your organs. Right. Because not only are they is detoxing the the negative toxins, but it's pulling those essential vitamins and minerals out of your body right. at the same time, and you mm-hmm. feel drained. Mm-hmm. So that's why when you have this, uh, 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 the Nutriburst is the best thing to take with this because then the Nutriburst is the uh, has all the, the 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 fiber and nutrients that your body needs, you know, so that you're putting it back in your body, putting those nutri- the nutrients back in your body. So right. I implore you guys to, if you want to find out what these stuff are, to inbox us, to hit us up, and find out those teas because we can take those teas anywhere. Like like Jojo said, he's on the road and he got his tea with him. You're on the road, I'm staying so away. So Over imagine if he took. Away. So imagine he took those that casserole. I would I couldn't. I couldn't make. I couldn't or, make this. Or 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 like uh 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 uh, uh Chino Mob said that that was those seven C's that during his mad nasties. <laughs> if you had that and you go on the road, you'd be hurting right now. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> at every rest stop, you like, hey, hey. Yeah, they... <laughs> oh. you on a road? You on a road? Like pull over, pull over. <laughs> you can't even reach the bathroom. That girl fall right out. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that gel will fall right out, son. <laughs> you can't so hold you that. That's you gonna fertilize the, the, the side of the house. <laughs> you gonna grow a whole tree, son. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's the worst part about those things that you you can't leave nowhere, yo. You can't do nothing. You it, like you, you literally have to plan for those things, and you can't take that right. That 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 time is done. It's done for you. Can't you can't live your life. Mm-hmm. You, I you mean, can't. This I, people this people, take, morning, people take vacation. I'm work, I'm people take vacation and take that stuff though. Vacation because they know they're gonna be in the bathroom. They do it like once know. or twice a year. You know what I'm saying, and you do it, you but, see, know, it's okay. but 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 with this tea, you can do this every day, and it's a soft detox. So because you're eating every day, you're eating junk food every day, especially for my junk food eaters. You know, eating these fast foods and eating the crap on the road. If you ain't got this right here, this right here will push that stuff out. So because right, I should have was eating junk on the road. So the huh? I said, because I sure enough was eating junk on the road, right? <laughs> so, I'm but, not but, sitting down and have but no you got your tea, though. on the road. You got your tea, though. You know what I'm saying? That's so what I'm saying. That tea is going to push it right out. You know what I mean? So that's a good that's a good plus about it, that this tea that is going to help you push your stuff out. Because I'm telling you, if you guys not using the bathroom, and well, well, even wait, even if it's hard to use the bathroom, you need this mm-hmm. drink. Because that that's a that's a lot too. Because especially when you're constipated, and that thing is hard and, and it's hard to come out. That joint feel like it's ripping you open. Like who want to live like that? You know what I mean? So, like, this is a nice smooth flow. You know when you got to use the bathroom, you got to use the bathroom. You ain't got to uh, 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 stay home for five days because you know you're gonna be. In the toilet for five days straight. You even gonna come out. You so might as well sleep and eat right there. That's nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> you know nasty. what I mean? So I'm telling you, if you know people that need uh, 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 to get detox, that don't use the bathroom often, listen, hit us up. Tell them we got this tea. You know what I mean? Gotcha. This tea works, and I'm, I'm I'm thankful for total life changes for this, and keeping my, my family cleaned out. You know what I mean? When the babies get old enough, they're going to be doing the same thing. You know, so that's why we try to teach them healthy eating habits now so that as they get older, you know what I'm saying, that they don't have to have those same bad habits that we have because that's what our families passed down to us. You know what I mean? And, 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 bad and now you explain habits. to them Explain to them the importance of detoxifying right. their body. Right, that's major because we I always explain because when they ask why, I have to explain why. You know, I'm, we can't be like our elders, like, oh, when soon as we ask why, either you're gonna get slapped right quick and tell them don't ask me no question. <laughs> Go sit down. You so know what? <laughs> that's probably why we feel like our childhood went so fast. Because you know when your mama <laughs> says you the next Tuesday, you know, you know, be tired, you got slapped in the future. <laughs> That's why you blinked, and now we grown men. That's what happened because you know, I snapped that's, into the future. That's why. That's why. That's why I think sometimes I'm a psychic because I always used to see the future. You always, you know, you know it was your mother's right hand. I want to get it. Yeah, man. We we got it. We got it. Yeah, and they still that quick. I, I want no problems. I want no smoke. Right. <laughs> Right? No smoke. You don't care how old they get. Still, you say, oh, wait. Be spitting out mad teeth. Come on. I don't got these young young toothpicks like I used to. Right? I can't can't grow this one back. I ain't going to get another one. Please, please. Give me some place. I'm going to have to go buy me a whole lot of fronts or something. Something. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I mean? But, man, man. Yeah, we got crazy. we got to keep ourselves healthy out here, man. You know what I mean? We got to keep our family healthy. We got to keep our kids healthy. You know what I mean? Let's eat right. Let's let's do better. You know what I mean? With our health, man. Go get checked out. I, I give you a challenge. I challenge you to go get go get checked out. You know what I mean? Any last words, brother man? Health is wealth. That's 
Right. Health is wealth and health is cool, man. So we got to stay healthy out here. My bro Joe, my brother Jerry over there, get home safe, man. Let me know when y'all get home. You know what I mean? Up. So we just want to say thank y'all for pulling up to the man cave once again. We're going to be here next week. Same time, same place. And we got more stuff to talk about. All right? Stay healthy out All here. Right. We love you too, Jay Baby. We, we love, love you too. Jay Baby. Jay Baby, man, she's number one. Yo, she's the coolest lady I know yeah. out there. You know what I mean? Mad respect, mad love for her. And I respect everybody that came on. Love everybody that came on. Showing support. want to thank you. Showing support. Big up, big up, big up, big up. You know what I mean? Stay healthy out here. You know what I mean? We love y'all. Stay safe. Peace. We're going to see y'all next week. Uh, I'll at hey. you. Later.